Hey, Rafa, how are you? Your microphone's on mute. Okay. Hi, teacher. How are you? Good, I'm fine. You? I, I'm a little bit tired, but I'm okay. Okay. Really was a great Monday. Yeah. Why? Uh, it's a it's a, a quiet day. It's a quite, quite Monday. Rare, but it's a good, good, good. What's a good day, really? Hey, is your uh, your partner the one who was on vacation? Did they return? What? Uh, the your partner, uh, the one who was on vacation. You you were covering for your partner, for your boss, or for ah yes 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 he he returned uh, yesterday. Ah okay. Yes, uh, and. Thanks of God, uh, it was a great week, really. Uh, the team yeah. uh, keep their, their metrics mm -hmm. and all be good all the week. Hey, that's good. That's good. That's important. Yes, because uh, it's uh, as I be measured by my boss. Exactly. Exactly. That that demonstrate that you did a good job. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. Just, you know, the same working and studying and trying to get everything done. Um, sometimes it's a lot of things, a lot of things at once, but yeah, it's a little bit of, a, it's really, I think it's just about being organized. It's about only about being organized. and. With my family, we decided that uh, to do something nice for all of us, we're going to go to the gym together, the four of us, my okay. wife, my daughter, my son, and myself. And not because we want to get big or strong, but it's an activity to do in family, have a healthy lifestyle. So, Yeah, but it, it's good to share a, a, a time with your family. Mm -hmm. So because we, we were thinking that in reality, all of us are busy. Uh, my wife with her two jobs, me with my jobs, my kids with their studies, the homework. But we need to make time to. Hey, we need to go out. Okay, let's go. Let's go do something. Yeah, and you are working only from home. No, 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 no. I go. I work at the office in the morning, and then I come in the afternoon and I work from home in the afternoon. And then I have my own projects, which. Really, it's, it's just about balancing everything between uh, my job, my business, my YouTube channel, my, my other things. Just trying to, I want to get get those things. So hopefully everything. Really, works. do you have a YouTube channel? Yeah, 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 yeah. And the, the problem is that I want to, I want to, uh, I started it and then my computer got, as soon as I started the videos, my, my computer got ruined. So now I, I, I'm getting a new computer in three weeks. It's coming it's coming and now I'll be able to begin again my, my YouTube channel again to have it because I use a lot of editing software and programs. And for that, you need a, a stronger computer than like a Chromebook or something because it's not enough. Well, you know, you, you know that yeah, yeah. it's not enough to, to run the programs. So, so I, I'm getting a MacBook. So that's why it's better with, with those. Well, it's a good choice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for, especially for editing and you know, iMovies and all of the things that it, it offers for free. So it's better. Yeah, it's better than uh, the, the Microsoft, even the, the server, even the service. Mm -hmm. So that's that's the idea. Really, that's the, the, the thing. And hopefully, hopefully things will go well because I have, I don't have a lot of subscribers, but I have like 500 uh, subscribers. So where is the name of the channel? It's in Spanish. It's it's actually it's Jardineria con Edwin. Okay, I'm looking for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, hey Dalia, how about you? How are you doing? I see you're still working, huh? Well... Yes, I'm still working too. Yeah. I see that. <sighs> yes, because yeah, <laughs> it's not only busy. It's for the money, huh? 
Tomorrow I pay the salary and wow. <laughs> Uh, it's difficult, yes, yes, I I pay tomorrow, and... No, not on Wednesday? No, no, <coughs> because when is the, Wednesday is um, it's a holiday. Yes, it's uh, 15 September, September 15th. Uh -huh. I don't know, I don't know, because I thought that when you do online, it's the same, the bank is open, the bank is closed. No, no. No, oh. it's because no, it's because the people uh, who am, who I employ need to to eat al cajero, like al cajero. Yeah, I see GM tomorrow because the uh, Wednesday is uh, difficult for them. I thought. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. so, okay. Well, that's good. Mm -hmm. Yes, but but I use a. Uh, a good day and we have a, a problem with uh, a client because uh, um, we failed to to our work, but tomorrow is a better day. And, and now, I, I wasn't clear, you failed in what? Sorry? You failed? You said you, we failed in? And I, I didn't- And at work. Ah, at work. Mm -hmm. Art, art. Oh, okay. Yes, for a client mm -hmm. because we are work, working to art. Oh. Yeah, and then we felt about that, but the client uh, say eh, tomorrow eh, we need to exchange, no, replace. 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 Thank you so much. Replace mm -hmm. the work. That is okay. Okay. Yes, no time. When is um, we have a lot of time. It's a no felt about that. But we are a woman. We are human. We are humans. Yes. 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 We are humans, and then okay. we need to learn about the process, and we need to repeat our process into the. The, the, the company. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah. Yes, yes, but it's nice. My, my, my house is okay. My kid is uh, in the university and because the internet, uh, I thought, <laughs> I think to not felt, yes. <laughs> because they are studying right now. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes, yes. And it's on in at a uh, in house. Okay. Yeah. But nice. Good day. All Good right. day. Uh -huh. This weekend is, is short. It is nice. Okay. Okay. Good. Well, guys, as you can see, exactly like that, exactly like what we're doing with Rafa and Dalia, that's what you're going to do with your partners. We want to be <coughs> comfortable with our English. The idea for today is we want to feel comfortable using, speaking, having a conversation, being, mm -hmm. Maria, how was your weekend? Henry, how, we want to feel like is the English is normal. No, I, is, mm -hmm. size, I, is the activity yes. I, the platform. No, we are going to work today and we want to practice oral. The same, I let my partner speak. When I have a question, I ask my partner, do you see, I didn't, Dalia, Dalia said something and I say, hey, Dalia, Hey, what is you had a problem with? I didn't understand. If you don't mm -hmm. ask your partner, that's the the idea. Is not only oh my partner is speaking, speaking, and then I I quiet and don't understand. And then when and then when the team say, hey Maria, what did they say? No sé, no sé. I don't know. I don't remember, teacher. I don't. I have short memory. I know. No, 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 no. This is not possible. <laughs> this is not an, This is not possible. So this is what we're going to do. So right now. We're going to go with our partners and we want to describe our weekends, talk about our activities, talk about normal English things, your family, your friends, your job, your activities, the, the different things. But we want to feel comfortable in English. Don't worry about the grammar. I, the, the teacher said, use the past tense or use the, no, 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 no. The idea is conversation, not stopping, not stopping. It's clear? 
Okay. Yes. yes. Got it. All right. All right. Can we do it? Yes. 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 Of course we can do it. You guys are the best. All right. Let's do it. Hey, Anna, how are you? but it's very loud. Okay, I'll turn it down. That's better. Hi, welcome to this new course. This time you will not only listen to a conversation, but you will also notice two part verbs or phrasal verbs. Pay attention to turn down, pick up, and so on. Try to write them down as they will help you for later usage. Listen and practice. Jason, Jason, turn down the TV, please. Oh, but this is my favorite program. I know, but it's very loud. Okay, I'll turn it down. That's better, thanks. Lisa, please pick up your things. They're all over the floor. In a minute, Mom, I'm on the phone. All right, but do it as soon as you hang up. Okay, no problem. Goodness, were we like this when we were kids? Definitely. Put plus on means to cover your body. Hello, we're now moving to the explanation of two part verbs or phrasal verbs. Get your pen and notebooks ready and follow us for better understanding. Two part verbs. Will for responding to requests. With nouns. Turn down the TV. Turn the TV down. Pick up your things. Pick your things up. With pronouns. Turn it down. Pick them up. Requests and responses. Please turn down the music. Okay, I'll turn it down. Pick up your clothes, please. All right, I'll pick them up. 
Let's talk about two-part verbs or phrasal verbs. These types of verbs are made up of two parts, a verb plus a particle. For example, put off. Put is the verb and off is the particle. It is also important to know that two-part verbs can change in meaning. The verb put means to place and put off means to postpone. Let's move on talking about two-part verbs with nouns. If the object is a noun, for example, TV, car, computer, can come before or after the particle. Read the following examples with me. The noise woke the giant up. Or, the noise woke up the giant. Both sentences are correct. Now, when the object of the two-part verb is a pronoun, it can only come between the verb and the particle. Pick him up. He keeps putting it off. Call her back. As a final note, when you use the same verb with a different particle, the meaning changes. For example, put plus off means to postpone. Put plus on means to cover your body with clothes. Put plus back means to return something to its original place. We will finish this explanation by adding that two-part verbs or phrasal verbs are very common, especially in formal English. Now that you have identified phrasal verbs, we want you to write some examples. Write on our discussion box one sentence using a phrasal verb with a noun and another sentence with a pronoun. Pick up the toys. Turn off the light. Hi again. Remember not only understanding grammar is important, but also pronunciation is as important. Please listen and practice the stress in two-part verbs. Pronunciation. Stress in two-part verbs. Part A. Listen and practice. Both words in a two-part verb receive equal stress. Pick up the toys. Turn off the light. Pick the toys up. Turn the light off. Pick them up. Turn it off. Now that you have listened to the stress, go ahead and practice saying the following two-part verbs. unusual requests on our discussion box I have hi we're about to make requests using modal verbs notice when to use the simple form of a verb and when to use a gerund stay around for more explanation requests with modals and would you mind modal plus simple form of verb can you turn the stereo off could you close the door please would you please take your garbage out? Would you mind, plus gerund. Would you mind turning the stereo down? Would you mind closing the door, please? Would you mind not putting your garbage here?
When we talk about requests, it is okay to say, please turn the stereo off to people we know well. We should use a more polite request, however, for neighbors and strangers. Models become more formal and more polite from Okay, how are we doing? Claudia, how are you? I know you're having some problems. <laughs> Today is difficult for you. Yes, I moved to downstairs and I don't know what's happening with the internet. <laughs> yes, no, but the internet like, is horrible. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I saw Claudia like four times, enter, exit, enter, go to the group, leave the group, go back, and I have <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> But I mean, computer don't have a internet, only in my cell phone. Ah, okay, okay. Yes. The same. So, Dalia, you're having problems with your internet also? Uh, more or less, no more time. Less. Yeah. Okay, okay. But, the, but uh, this uh, weekend is, is really, not, really bad. Ah, okay, okay. Yes, really bad. I don't know why. Okay. So, how did you guys feel with your English? Did you feel comfortable asking questions, answering questions? Mm. Is there something you say, hey, I don't know how to say this word, or hey, how do we say this vocabulary? Yes, I asked him about the vocabulary because I <laughs> forgot. Okay. Yes, but. In I my don't... case, in my case, sometimes I don't know the specific words, but mm -hmm. the, in the context, I suppose the the meaning, and uh, sometimes I, I, I stand because uh, the context help me <laughs> to 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 understand. Understand. Okay. Okay. But okay. And were there so, words that you wanted, Javier? Were there anything that you say? Hey, I how do you say this, or how do we say this, or or no, and nothing specific. Not a specific. Okay. Okay. Chair. Yes. Hey, how do you say injectar? It's good. That's inject. Inject. Okay. Yes. And antibiotics. The antibiotic. I don't know. Antibiotic. Antibiotics. Antibiotic. Antibiotic. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Thanks. You're welcome. You're welcome. Maria, are you a nurse? No, <laughs> but I, <laughs> I was sick. <laughs> okay. I like, I like it. All right. No, but I want to know. Okay. <laughs> That's good. Okay. I, I want to know how you can say that you, you feel good with under other people in Spanish, like, uh, llevarse bien con alguien. Get along. That's right, Armando. Very but, but mm -hmm. I knew that, but I don't know. Uh, it didn't sound me because if I mm -hmm. want to say, yo eh, me llevo bien con ellos, I get along with them. It's a, right. It's you can way. say, there are two ways. You can say, I get along, or you can say, I get on well. The two forms are mm -hmm. oh, yeah. along with Armando or I get on well with Armando. Mm -hmm. Okay, so thanks. The only difference, Gabby, is that get along is American and Canadian and get on well is European. So if somebody is from, uh, I don't know, England, Ireland, Australia, you'll usually hear the expression, I get on well and not I get along. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. I really like this class. Okay, good, good. I'm glad. I'm glad. That's the idea. That's the idea of of, fin of us finishing the the units is so that we have the the last week for oral practice, for conversation, for talking, for improving. Of course, the objective is the platform, right? This is the this is what in support grades. But for me, for personally, I think that isn't. Is no purpose if you know the grammar and you know the vocabulary if you don't practice. Yeah. If you yeah, don't you're practice, right, teacher. Then, then there's no purpose for me, right? But 
but I, I understand in support the is the, the ability is in support right that we first we need to finish the platform okay so yes. now we finish the platform now now I can have the class speaking and no, no problem yes teacher and thank you for thinking about it because I think that it's all that we need is to speak because if not we never we never we only keep the knowledge in our mind but we don't practice we don't get fluency yeah. is is a is a very typical problem because normally we we understand the other people when they talk but normally we have problems to express ourselves when we we talk with we talk with with, with others so i can blame the people because it's like something new mm -hmm. yeah you need to to leap from your comfort zone to talk with other people to try to, to express yes. i think that is difficult and, and then you're right, Henry, because everyone, not, not just you, everyone has a comfort zone in work, in life, a relationship, you have a comfort zone. And many people say, no, 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 no. It's not the best, but ah, I'm okay. It's not the best, but I'm comfortable. And, and the only way to grow is by leaving the comfort zone. Yes, there are some mistakes. Yes, it's scary. Yes, but ah, we are... We are partners. We can talk together. We can uh, help each other. We can correct. It's not a problem. For example, you don't need to be the teacher to help your partner and correct your partner. If you know, you know. No, this is not like in the 1960s where, ah, quiet. Only the teacher knows. Everybody copy. Everybody know. Oh. Today with the internet, there are times that, 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 that people know more than others because they investigate, they look. So this is the idea. So we're going to go now. Now that we're talking a little bit about our weekend and our activities, right? Now, those were talking about our daily routines and things like that. Now, I want you to talk to your partner about your plans, your future, your dreams. What do you want? Just everybody wants, everybody is studying English, but why? Oh, do you want to go to another country? What country? With who? To do what? Okay. Ah, do you want to? Uh, do you want to work in a call center, or you want to start your own business, or what? Okay, which one? What business? What do you want to start? What do you want to do? The idea or the focus is: What are your dreams? What do you want in your life for the future? Don't worry about the grammar; it's okay. But we are we, in this one. We are going to be using the future. In the last activity was the past and present. But if you if you like to use going to, use going to. If you like to use will, use will. If you like to use I am, then you use I am. It's not, for me, the important today, the important is the speaking, the fluency, the, hey, Brenda, <laughs> no, I, I cannot say, I cannot, no, you know. We have dreams, everyone has dreams. You can share, it's okay. Everybody has different dreams. Mm -hmm. Imagine Francisco, hey, Quiero abrir un, un lugar de lips, pero para la mujer. Okay, okay. Do you lips Francisco, you like? <laughs> <You're all Francisco. laughs> no, Baba, you are, oh, lips you, are right. you are right. You are right, teacher, because, uh, for example, Henry say about when the, we speak, for example. I try to understand when the I um, when the I, I I hear or when the I um, reading the reading is more comfortable comfortable for me, for example. But when the I went to 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 Europe mm -hmm. and we we stay in Holland in Holland mm -hmm. is. I need the English, a lot of English. <laughs> and I don't care if they understand me or not. I need to speak when the Jewish Jew style and in this moment and need it, need it or or die. Yeah. <laughs> because 
you need you need um, a food. You need a translate to to or transportation for the another country and all about that. But my heart is a uh, br 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 pumping. Pumping. See, uh, beating. Yes. Maybe beating. 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 Mm -hmm. beating a lot of when the, I took the 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 flight to Holland. And my husband uh, and I, yeah, very nervous about that. But but when the, I arrive in Holland and I hear all the people speak in English, oof, my poor English is <laughs> really nice in this moment. I, <laughs> yes, I don't. I don't. I didn't have um, uh, internet. Mm -hmm. I I did in another people translate to the Spanish to English and then I uh, I did it. Yeah. Only I did it. And, but it is it's really difficult. It's really difficult, but nobody know me and I don't care. And that <laughs> is the important. That is the, the most difficult because many times we are scared. We say, I know yes. if I don't pronounce correctly. I know if, if, if yes. it's the correct word. I know it's not the correct. I don't remember the past. I don't remember the first. In yes. The, I know. You go. Yes. You yeah, same. <laughs> yeah. I have a friend in London. Mm -hmm. And they uh, they they study right now Spanish and I study English. But the only way we need to, we um, talking is uh, around the writing in the chat. For example, I writing in English and she, she uh, writing in Spanish. Mm -hmm. But when the uh, 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 we uh, see on the chat or 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 videos, for example, I try to speak, but I try to yes, I try to understand. They speak Spanish and I speak English, but and yes, but but I have a lot of nervous when when I speak with her, for example, because I want to understand me. They are in London. It's, it's not the same for the American for the United States, for example. Mm -hmm. The English is mm, different, but we try. They right. he and she in Spanish and I in English. That's excellent. That's excellent. It's like in, in Spanish. Right we're, yeah. we're going to go with our partners, and that's it. Feel comfortable. Talk about it. Your your future, your experience. Relax, but feel comfortable talking and asking your partner. Okay. So okay. Let's, with our partners, let's go with our partners and let's.
can to could to would. Notice the structure. Model plus subject plus simple form of verb. Usually, we add the word please at the end of the request when using could, and we use please in the middle of the sentence to make a stronger emphasis on the request with would. However, please may be omitted. Now, let's go over with would you mind. When we use the entire expression would you mind, the verb which follows must be a gerund. This is how it is formed. Would you mind plus gerund or verb plus ing plus complement. We want you to notice two things. The use of please at the very end of the request. Remember, you may or may not add it. And also notice a negative request. Would you mind plus not plus gerund or verb plus ing plus complement. Would you mind writing three unusual requests on our discussion box? I have one for you. Could you lend me your toothbrush? Go ahead and have fun. I use my computer for send emails. Hi, welcome. Join us in this new section. We're about to explain that we can describe how something is used by either an infinitive or a gerund. Notice the meaning is the same. Pay attention and stay with us. Infinitives and gerunds for uses and purposes. Infinitives. I use my computer to send emails. Computers are often used to pay bills. Gerunds. I use my computer for sending emails. Computers are often used for paying bills. As said in our intro video, we will study infinitives and gerunds to express use and purposes. Keep in mind the meaning doesn't change. What changes is the structure. So let's go over the explanation on the difference between the two forms. With an infinitive, we must use to plus verb. Example, I use my cell phone to call my friends. To call my friends is the purpose. With a gerund, we must use for plus verb plus ing. Example, I use my cell phone for calling my friends. For calling my friends is the purpose. Notice on both examples, the purpose or use is the same. It is also important for you to notice when using infinitives, we must use the particle to before the verb. And when we use gerunds, we use the word for. You can't say, I use my computer to sending emails, nor I use my computer for send emails. Are. Pronunciation, syllable stress, part A. Listen and practice. Notice which syllable has the main stress. Satellite. 
Internet. Photograph. Invention. Assignment. Computer. CD-ROM. Engineer. Entertain. Where is the stress in these words? Can you pronounce them? Very good. All right, so I hope everybody got some information about their partner's dreams and had a chance to talk about your own dreams and wishes. Yes? Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Elsa, tell me about your partner. Well, my partner, partners, um, was a, a Carla, Carla Ivania and Ana Dimas. Yes, um, we are talking about a, a, that we need to improve our English and a, a, we have uh, some advices, for example, watching series in English and also a, a watch a, and listen a, the platform, the name is T Ted, T I D. Yes, very good. T E D, T E D. T E D, yeah. T -E -D. T -E -D. Yeah, because you have you want to uh, learn all about uh, too many topics, no? And you can also you can uh, download the 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 the, the writing, no? In English. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's interesting because you can read and, and listen, read and listen. Of course, uh, both in English, right? And uh, we also talking about some exercise in platform. It is, and sometimes it's kind of difficult, uh, but uh, interesting conversation. Excellent, Elsa, excellent, all right. Anna or Carla, do you want to add anything else or mention anything else? Uh, well, it uh, was, uh, was interesting to talk with uh, Carla and Elsie because I, uh, I, Elsie, Elsie says, told me, uh, me uh, and Carla, uh, she practiced in your job, uh, read and um, and writing, in my case, only that's re re read. And uh, we are talking about uh, the platform. For example, in my case, I I told you I told you uh, was difficult the section three when I was a uh, 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 listening. For example, Carnival Time, only that uh, uh, I have a good uh, uh, one, <laughs> uh, 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 one question, good, <laughs> the number one, <laughs> the, other, the, the other one <laughs> was wrong. <laughs> okay, all right, good, good, okay. Okay, um, Elsie and Hannah, tell me the practice um, English and watch videos and practicing your job and practice uh, and read the, the your job and um, watch video uh, series in Netflix. Okay. Good. All right. Yeah, there's always a lot you can do to practice your English. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, Claudia, what about you and your partner? What did you guys discuss? Um, we was talking about uh, with Armand, no, with Francisco, that he was uh, 
telling that he's studying English because he will study a doctorate and is necessary uh, to speak English for that reason. And with Armando, uh, he, he thought that he was in Greece about a few years ago for a week. And he says that few people speak English and the advantage that he has that uh, he co-worker uh, was from there. Uh, and okay, okay. So Armando in Greece, they don't speak English. Yeah, um, a few people. It's difficult. Few people. It's difficult to find people to speak English. It's not easy, but it depends. Where do you where do you visit? Mm -hmm. of, of course, in the Parthenon, you will find people but we we went to some cities or i don't know the pueblo maybe a small cities i can say okay we um, went to small cities that excuse me no no sorry i was talking about the pueblo the towns town. yes the yes, town yes. Ah, okay. small towns so obviously it's difficult to find but but this is because claudia is planning to to visit greece this year Oh, okay. Good topic then. It's good. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. Good. Okay, good. And Francisco, anything else that you want to add? But, uh, Claudia told us the, the, the travel plane to uh, she, she will go to Greece on December and it's a very good plane. <laughs> <laughs> and she visited Greece with her mother. And, uh, and Armando told us that he went to Greece uh, for work. Uh, Armando said uh, different, uh, difficult for uh, uh, Greeks speak English. Oh, okay, okay. It's very unusual, right? Because you don't imagine normally for work to go to Greece. You imagine United States, Canada, Mexico. Yes, but Greece? Yeah, but, but normally and... Greece is famous in in the its island. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. the island, the part, you know, the museum. Yes, you can find people, but. In a restaurant, in a down, in a little city, is it's not no. easy. Okay. Yes. Maybe in the uh, tourists, important tourist sites, um, maybe the people uh, speak English for the tourists. Mm -hmm. But in the small Good. towns, uh, in the Greek, is a different language, uh, the Romances language for yeah. the. The Italian, Spanish, or Portuguese is uh, concerned same words, but Greece is another, <laughs> another oh. sound. Yes. Okay. A very interesting. Very nice, guys. Great job. Great job. Henry, what about you and your partner? What did you guys talk about? Uh, she told me that she told me about what she wait for the future, and she told me that. She wait for a very good job with a good salary. And we told other things about the, uh, she was she was looking. Who was your partner, Henry? Uh, my partner was Gabby. Gabby, okay. And she told me that she was looking in internet, the internet, uh, living, live, how, how to get a, uh, a residential in Canada, the, the the states that you need to to complete mm -hmm. uh, the requirements that you need to to get a a residence a residence in in Canada, and she told me some about about this about that, but and only that we talk about the problem of El Salvador and that. Normally, people think that the only way to 
to get a very good opportunities is uh, living for the, the country. Interesting, what we, <laughs> interesting, what we do need, what do we need to go abroad? <laughs> I don't know. Abby, what need, do we need? We need to speak English or French. I'm not mm -hmm, sure, but okay. they, One. they they talk the boss. Languages. The boss. Englishers. But depending on the province. Uh, the province. The province. Thanks to you. Mm, good, good. Gabby, what else did you discover? Or, or what do you know, Gabby? Oh, Henry told me uh, that he applied for a better opportunity in a job, but mm -hmm. they said that he didn't have the enough level of English. So he was saying to me that he wants to apply again and having the chance. And I was uh, advising him that he could start watching all movies, serials and all that in, in English because it's, it helps to for you to sound more natural and for you to notice how the words really really sounds correctly in and also the intonation to sound uh, in the way you have you want to sound because sometimes you said things have if, like if you were a robot and sometimes that's not the message you want to give you you want to i don't know give a good notice or a bad notice and, and you can sound like the opposite so we, mm -hmm. we were talking about that and also about leaving the country. He was telling me also that maybe if he had the chance, he could go to USA or on a, another country. We were talking about Europe too, but it's a little bit harder because of the money, because of the long distance. And I think also the, the um, discrimin discriminative people it's okay. more, I think, in Europe than here in America. And that's it. Okay. Well, you know, Henry, it's great. It's great, Armando, that you guys are thinking of Canada or Gabi. And there's actually programs for people that want to go to Canada. We have many Salvadorian programs that, yeah. have, that go to Canada. Um, but just, just talking about the visas for, for a job. For a... No, with, with a job, we, we have for Canada and for the United States, we have we have the, the two programs in El Salvador. Um, if you are interested, you can talk to a Ministerio de Relaciones Exteriores. And Ministerio de Relaciones Exteriores is where they have the, the, uh, the connections or the jobs that you can apply for. Because last year we had uh, 200 Salvadorians with visas that went to the United States with jobs. And we also have Salvadorians that go to Canada. And yeah. uh, if I remember correctly, we have 300 Salvadorians that go to Canada with jobs, but is with or is through the connection of Ministerios de Relaciones Exteriores. And the Ministerio de Trabajo, too. Yes, but Ministerio de Trabajo, yes, it's two, the two, but Ministerio de Trabajo is for the work mainly for Salvador, but Ministerio de Relaciones Exteriores is for helping you with the visa, the passports, and the contacts there. And Ministerio de Trabajo is the requirements that are needed for the job. And Relaciones Exteriores is to connect you with the company in the other countries. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So they, when it's a project like that, they normally work, the two Ministerios de Trabajo and Relaciones Exteriores, they work together. But the one responsible is Ministerio de Relaciones Exteriores because it's for outside of El Salvador. And Ministerio de Trabajo is normally responsible for the things in El Salvador. Uh, the correct contract, the, the salary, the, uh, uh, you know, uh, Christmas bonus, vacation, all of the things that, that go with that. So just to let you know that we, yes, and even if you look in internet, Minister de Relaciones, Visa Canada, and you'll find links of, of information of many of yes. that go. So it's interesting. Teacher. Yes, teacher. Do you know the program in the, in the United States for teachers, Salvadorian teachers with uh, work in the 
schools in the North Carolina, Georgia, or Alabama. And one year, two years in the program, teach uh, um, children in English and Spanish. And later two years, uh, uh, the um, opportunity come back to El Salvador. Do you know the programs? Yes, the, the... It, but it's, it, it's, the program is for rural America. That, it, that's what it's called, it's for rural America because the idea is um, a lot of the, when you first start your first year or the first two years of your contract, you go to the schools outside of the big cities, outside where there's a little population or not so many uh, people. And you have, there are two different ones. One, the number one that most uh, Hispanics go to is teaching Spanish because Spanish is the number one, is the number one language besides English that they teach in the schools. And they need a lot of Spanish speakers. So that's one. And the second is after you have worked in that program of the Spanish, then you can also work as the English uh, subjects, mathematics, science, or other areas that you like because your English is good. If you want to apply for the first one, it's more difficult because you need to have the TOEIC or the TOEFL, and then you need to go for these other things. Mm -hmm. But it's an um, um, interesting program because um, it's a good pay, suppose. <laughs> yeah, 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 it, eh, it's okay. Is it bad? It's, not, it's not bad, it's not bad, but it's not good. It's not a good pay. It's, it's good for Salvadorians, but it's not good for Americans because it's not, it's not yes. a for Americans. It's, it's an okay salary if you are single. If you do not have a family, do not have children, it's a good salary because it's only you yes. in El Salvador. But if, it's, if you have a family and you have to send money to El Salvador, mm, it's good because you have the opportunity, but it's not the best. It's good okay. to learn I more understand. English. Yes. So, but there are a lot of opportunities, really. And also for Europe, actually, there is a program for Europe but it's for farmers and you have to go to Europe and you have to collect uh, fruits, the berries, the, the cherries, and they pay you eh, more or less. It's not a big salary, but it's like $3,000 a month. But you go three, four months to Europe, you work and you have more money than one year in El Salvador, so. It's a job for harvest. Correct. For cosecha, for harvest. Yes, it's for harvest, that is correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's temporary. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. The same for the other job, for the job for Canada, the job for the U.S. They're temporary because you're not a citizen. But, okay. but if you go and you demonstrate one or two years that you return and you go, then you have a better opportunity because you have experience, you have work, you have the language, and you have demonstration that you can go back to your country. And then it's easier for you to make contacts and look for a job while you are in Canada. Look for another job while you are there for permanent residency, not temporary. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is the most difficult. It's like, if you want to go to Guatemala <laughs> the, to find a job, it's difficult on the internet, but if you go and you are there in the different place, it's easier to find. So this is why I always say, look like an opportunity. Maybe it's not the job you want, but it's the opportunity to find the job that you want. Your dream job. Yes, uh, that's right, Dalia. To dream. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No problem. I have a dream job. What's your dream job, Dalia? No, I, 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 I still in my dream job. <laughs> yes. No. No. It's for um my company. It's, it's because I love it. What I I I work. Okay. Yes. And I who is your partner, change. Dalia? My partner is Rafael. Rafael. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> yes, I'm sorry. I, That's okay. It, yes. the, reason I, the reason I ask is because amazingly, amazingly, our time is done. We're yeah, uh, uh, uh. But I would love uh, to hear more about yes, Dania, Rafael, Rafa, Rafael, Brenda, Rafael, Rafael, Rafael. My, my partner is Rafael. 
Okay, okay. And we talk about about her about him job because job. he traveling because he, he travel all day every day for the early early and at the morning and for okay. for him all day. No, oh, it's, it's, it's terrible, so, but he's uh, happy because he. Um, He's he's staying in Santa in Santa Ana, and him house is, is in Santa Ana, and uh, he traveled because um, the company pay for the bus. Yes, but we are yes. going to continue tomorrow, Dalia. Um, okay. Have to go to the other class, but tomorrow you tell us and we talk more. And I hear about Brenda and Rafa and Ana Pineda and everyone else. Okay. Okay. Great teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.